Okay, so this is chapter two. Um, I don't. I was actually uh, a step ahead. I've gotten a little further. Um, I was recording earlier, and for some reason it stopped. I don't know why. The only thing I did is I've taken off the, um, the seat for the ribbon spools, and I'm now in the midst of cleaning the tight bars. I'm using isopropyl alcohol. I find it's the best way to remove ink. Nail polish remover works, but it smells rather strong. Ronsonol lighter fluid is a good way of doing it, although it doesn't isn't as effective as I'd like it to be. And again, it is poisonous, dangerous. It's not a great substance. Isopropyl alcohol, of course, you don't want to get exposed to it too much. But considering it's enhanced sanitizer, and we've all been rubbing it on. Like there's no tomorrow for the past two and a half years, I don't see it being all that big of a problem to use on typewriters. It is frowned upon a bit amongst typewriter collectors because it contains water, and I don't deny that. But it is of such a small quantity, it's not going to hurt your machine. You're dealing with machines that have been exposed to, to, to the, in many cases, the elements for plenty of years. Um, if you were to bathe it in, isopropyl alcohol and then let it sit outside while it was soaking wet, yes, I can imagine it's going to create some problems. You use this sparingly, it is a wonderful product to use on typewriters to clean type bars, it will neutralize rust, it is an excellent dirt remover, don't frown too hard on isopropyl alcohol, it works very well. Now, I do have, well, I was given by a friend of mine, uh, Bob Ross odorless paint thinner, which I hope to use by the time I run out of isopropyl alcohol. And judging by the jug, looks like it will happen not too long from now. But for now, get yourself a little squirter like this. Um, I use Hops 9 brushes, and these are the brushes you can buy at Cabela's and the Guns and Ammunition store. They're used for gun cleaning, and I use them for typewriter cleaning. They're wonderful brushes, they cost. I don't know, the price is gone. I think they cost around ten dollars a piece. Um, they last for years. I've used this brush for about two years. This is the state it's in now. The previous one I worn down to the nub about five years. Worth the money, and they're excellent brushes. Don't get the ones with the metal br bristles because they will damage your typewriter. I've seen people use metal bristles and typewriter bars on type bars. It makes me cringe because you gouge the typeface. These are sensitive. I've seen typewriters where the typeface is damaged just by mangled key, uh, by uh, uh, jumbling the keys. Don't use metal brushes on typefaces. You damage the typeface. It's too, unless it's specifically soft, gun grades, metal brushes will damage your typeface. Use the plastic ones. They do the job just as good. You might take a little bit longer to do it, but if you use the right substances, such as isopropyl alcohol, the result can be very rewarding. So. That's just my, uh, that's Dirk's top tip of the day. Don't use metal bristle brushes. Now, the way I do this is I lather my brush in isopropyl alcohol. I make sure the type bars are rested on a piece of um, shop paper towel because you don't want this getting on plastic or paint. And it just prevents, um, so to speak, cross-contamination of dirt and gunk on other components. And this takes a bit of patience, but the old ink comes right off. Now the D-type bar, I don't know why it's peach black, but I think it's corrosion. I don't know, there's something in black. There's a reason this is completely black. I'd almost say it's a replacement key. will get to that later. Push comes to shove, I do have a replacement D type bar for a Royal Standard. And my parts box down here. So we'll see how that goes. And it's an excellent rust remover. I mean just taking it across that rusty segment and it comes right off. It's a good cleaner. You know, you can use Ronsonol lighter fluid, but it's it's poisonous, it's flammable, it's it's a rough, it's it's not good for you. I mean, I use gloves, um, auto box gloves in the 
start of the pandemic and they're cheap well they were cheap you know nothing special I mean these were twenty dollars at the time a box of gloves good quality box of glo uh, gloves was thirty dollars at the start of the pandemic and I wasn't gonna spend that kind of money uh, but you know it's it's just it's easier on the skin um, isopropyl alcohol we've been lathering it on ourselves over the past two and a half years like there's no tomorrow so I don't see that all much of a problem um, you gotta make peace with the fact that you work on anything mechanical you're gonna get exposed to some chemicals so just do your due diligence get some gloves you know that you can work well with you want to get the, the tight fitting gloves for typewriters because you get the small bits um, you don't have to be religious car mechanics are covered head to toe in grease you know it's just it is what it is typewriters you work with uh, I mean you, you work with substances that were not deemed harmful at the time they were made especially the old ones I don't know for a fact if they were used they were painted with lead paint at the time the chipping just make sure you don't eat it yes Underwood used asbestos in their type bar rests again don't crush it and snort it you'll be fine Just like anything else that you work on, it probably won't be completely harmless, and that's okay. That's okay. You do what you love, and then with that, you make peace with the fact that sometimes things are not as good for you as they probably should be, but then again, I like my Kentucky Fried Chicken and an occasional glass of whiskey, so. And you're a liar if you say you don't have your own guilty pleasure. I'm sorry I'm just rambling here, but the camera is the only thing I get to talk to when I'm working on my typewriters. can't explain why the uh, D type slug is black. I've seen um, it's not corrosion because it's black. It, it, it comes off as black and the type slug it looks like it's a replacement and it's one with laundry blue or laundry blue with rifle bluing on it. So back in the day you had the option to rifle blue your typewriters against corrosion and exposure to the elements. This was plenty this was the reason it was called rifle blowing is because it was common commonly done on uh, um, weaponry during the war. Um, and it was also done on typewriters. I've got a Imperial 50 that the entire mechanism is black because it was um, treated with uh, with rifle bluing. And by the looks of it the um, black tight bar seems to have the same trait. You can even see it from the camera. So, looking for royalty free music. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not looking for royalty free music. Excuse me. Come on.
Thank you.